welcome back guys so in this video we can see about uh, the most high yielding stuff in microbiology that is bioterrorism agents and their category so these bioterrorism agents has been uh, classified under three categories a b and c so a includes the agents which are easily spreadable and easily transmissible from person to person thereby resulting in high death rates high mortality rate and having a potential public threat so our health care services should be prepared in every stages to tackle these kind of agents if there is pandemic or epidemic so this agents has a mnemonic top c bm so t for tularemia a for anthrax p for plague s for smallpox e for ebola and b for botulinum m for marburg virus in bioterrorism agency so in this the agents which are easily spreadable and easily available are included so until there are uh, many things but two most important is nipah virus and hanta virus these two are emerging viruses and the next is bioterrorism agent b so it is moderately uh, to heavily spreadable agents so resulting in moderate illness low death rates and hence it requires an enhancement of the diagnostic capacity and enhanced disease monitoring okay these are not most potential threat but we have to improve the healthcare facility in order to manage these conditions first is q fever resin typhoid endemic typhus cephalococcus entero toxin b clostridium perfringens brucellia cytokosis cryptosporidium parvum etc so it is uh, difficult to remember the, all the, these names but uh, simply remember these most important names that's enough bioterrorism agent a top c bm bioterrorism agent c nipa hanta bioterrorism agent b has many viruses so of that many viruses the most important one are q fever resin typhoid endemic typhus cephalococcus entero toxin b clostridium perfringens brucella cytokosis